Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Right now, we're going to work on how you can enter in an equation into your TI-89 calculator so you can take a look at the graph. One important thing to remember is that with any type of equation you want to enter in, that it must be solved for y if the calculator is going to be able to read it. So with our equation that we have here, we have 7x plus 2y equals 10, we must solve this for y in order to get it into the calculator. So let's start that. So what I'm going to do is start shifting things around and getting y all by itself. So I'm going to subtract a 7x from both sides. This will give us a 2y minus a 7x plus 10. And to get the y completely all by itself, I'll divide everything by 2. This will give us that y is equal to a negative 7 halves x plus 5. So this is what we will actually enter in into our calculator. So let's go ahead and grab it right now. All right, you can see that I'm on the home screen. So I want to go to the graphing screen and put this in. Press my green button and F3. This is where our graph will show up. Right now it's blank, so let's hit the green button and the Y equals. Now, in order to put this in, I want to make sure that it reads my fraction correctly. So what I'm going to type in is parentheses, negative 7 divided by 2, close parentheses. That will make sure that the fraction is read. Now I'll put in my x plus 5 and enter. Now that it's all entered in, we want to make sure that our window is good. So we'll press the green button and window. And usually you end up playing around with this for a little bit, but it's good to start with, say, values between negative 10 and 10 on the x, and between, say, negative 10 and 10 on the y. All right, everything looks pretty good. So now we'll finally hit our green button and graph. We'll take a look at this. So as we can see, the line has a negative slope, sure enough, because it's a negative 7 halves, and it crosses the y-axis at 5, which is good. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.